हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस अमेजिंग चैनल दिस इज अबिना सो आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द कोर्स सेफ सॉल्यूशंस आल्सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड द वीडियो ऑफ आर राइन ग्रिड इन द चैनल यू कैन चेक इट आउट एंड टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कॉस्ट ऑफ स्टार्टर्स 122 सो दिस प्रॉब्लम इज रियली अमेजिंग सो दे हैड अ प्रॉब्लम इज दैट आई यूज इज हैविंग अ नंबर ओके अ बेसिक इंटीजर नंबर व्हिच इज इन द बाइनरी फॉर्म and what i use want is i use want that number to be called as good and for being a good number what happens is the condition is that it should not contain 101 as a subsequent okay so for example for example if the number is let's say like this it's a good number it's a good number because 101 is not present if a number is like this it's not a good number even a number like this is not a good number because we are talking about subsequence not sub array this subsequence is 101 so basically in other words we can say that there cannot be any zero between two ones zeros cannot be present between two ones right so in other way we can say that your number should be like first it should contain all the ones and then all the zeros or maybe all are ones or maybe all are zeros but any other combination where zeros are between one are not allowed basically i use as a number for example i use as a number like this let's say that i use has this number okay this is the number i use has now what he wanted to do is he wants to convert it to a good number good number means it should not contain zeros between one so here you will see that this zero is present between these two ones here also these zeros are fine because they are not present between one so he has to basically convert this number into a different good number how he can convert so for converting he can perform one type of operation and that operation is that he can add 2 to the power x to this number n any number of time but the cost of the operation is the numbers that he has added so what he can do he can add numbers of which are 2 to the power something for example he can add 2 4 8 16 32 64 and so on so 2 means 1 4 means 10 1 sorry 2 means 10 1000 1000 1000 even 1 can also be there then 10000 so basically he can actually add some bits for example he can add like this can add like this But if you observe one thing, after adding these numbers, it will not have any effect on the number of set bits of the original n. So if you will see in this original number n, how many ones are present, or how many set bits are present? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six set bits. Am I right? So after conversion, also the number of set bits will not uh, will not. So it can change, obviously. For example, if you will add a number here it will change if you will add a number here it will change right but we will try to not change them how how we can do something so that all the ones come at the front what we want we want that all the ones are present first and then all the zeros are present that i want but i will try to not add more ones why because if i will add more ones it will obviously increase my cost So I will somehow shift these ones from here to the left of it. How I can do this? See, guys, let me give you a very good observation that I made during this question. What I will do is, I will iterate from the back. When there are some zeros, it's completely fine. So see, there's a zero, it's fine. There's a zero, it's fine. It's fine. Now next, there is a one. So when there is a one, it is present at which index? See, if I will make index saying. If I will make indexing, you can see that this is present at index number two, at index number two. Okay, what does it mean? It simply means that it simply means that what I what I will do here is I will add the same number here, the number which has this second bit on, which is four. I will add it. Okay, let's let's see after adding what will happen. So after adding, you will see that. output will be this will not be affected 
if I will add one here, all the ones from here in the continuous manner will become zero. You can try adding it. Just add simple binary addition, and this will become one. The carry will come here. Am I right? So means just by adding this one, you made all of them to zero, and the next zero to one. Right? Now let's do the same thing here. Now here I will again. So I I have done till here. I know that I have done till here. Now when I will I will start from here now. Now here again there is a one. What I will do? I will add that one. So again what will happen here? This will be zero, 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 and then one. And the remaining will be as it is. Again next one is here. I will add this. So it will become zero, 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 one, one, and that's all. That is what we want. That is what we want. All the ones. Okay. So one thing I I said in the start uh, is something uh, that I am taking my words back. So I said in the start that number of ones will be same. Number of ones will not be same. We cannot shift the same number of ones on the uh, left side. But yeah. We will try to minimize it. We will we will not try to you know. For example, if I will add ones here, it will take a lot of uh, cost. But I am starting from the minimum one. मैंने यहाँ पे एक one add किया and because of this one, ये सारे one zero हो गए. यहाँ पे एक one add हो गया. अब मैंने यहाँ पे add किया उसकी वजह से यहाँ पे ये zero हो गया ये one add हो गया. अब मैंने यहाँ पे एक one add किया इसकी वजह से तीनों zero हो गए. So which is better? यहाँ पे एक one add करके इसको one करना या यहाँ पे एक add करके इन सब को zero कर देना. That is better, right? That is the observation. So we added just three numbers: first, second, and third, and we got our answer. That is what I am doing. So if you will see my code, if you will see my code here, first I have converted my number into a binary string. Okay, you can see in the S, I am storing my binary string, and total is basically the total number of bits in our in my uh, basic uh, string. Okay. Now current is basically the current value that I have to add, and answer will store the to total cost. Current is the current cost. I will tell you how. Okay. First of all, as I told you, if there are initial some zeros, we have to ignore them. For example, there is a zero. There is a zero. So it's fine. We can have zero at the end. Okay. So I will again tell you. So what I will do, I will so the variable i, not i. <laughs> so variable i will start from here. There is a zero. It will move forward. It will. So when it will, it will come here, the first one. Okay, my this loop will stop. My this loop will stop. Now we are here. Now see, I am saying now there are two conditions. I am saying if s of i is zero, if s of i is zero, okay, then I am doing some. I will tell you what I will do. Let's for now ignore it. For now, what the case is s of i is one. So when s of i is one, currently my cost is zero and my answer is also zero. Okay, so what will happen if my uh, s i is one? And my current cost is zero, so I will make my current cost equal to this one because I know that I will add this later. I will add this later. So I have made this one zero zero which is four in my cost. So my current cost is four. How I am adding current two three power i. So two three power two is four. Okay, but still I am not adding it in the answer. I am moving forward. Now I came here. So basically this s is stored in a reverse manner. So I am. Doing i plus plus, but ultimately it's from the back. Okay, then it will come here, and then finally it will come here. So now when it will come to the zero, now when it will come to the zero, now what I am doing? Now I am making this s i to one. I am making this s i to one. Why I am making this to one? Because when I will add this here, this all will become zero, and this will become to one. This I know. So I am making this s i to one. And for doing this, how much cost we did? We we took this much of cost, one zero zero four. That I will add in my answer. And then now, from now onwards, from now onwards, see, for the remaining string, next sum we add करेंगे ना sum यही add करेंगे ना. So next के लिए मेरी cost क्या हो जाएगा? मेरी cost यही हो जाएगी. Two three power five. क्योंकि हम next इसको add करने वाले हैं. And this is how it will go on. तो नाउ इसके बाद क्या होगा हमने स्क्वायर किया इट बिकेम जीरो 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 
अंदर यहाँ पे बना गया अब नेक्स्ट कॉस्ट यहाँ पे आ जाएगी तो फिर वो यहाँ पे ऐड करेगा फिर वो फिर ये वन हो जाएगा बाकी सब जीरो हो जाएंगे एंड फाइनली यहाँ पे वन वन बचेंगे तब भी हम क्या करेंगे सेम चीज कर रहे होंगे बट लास्ट में मैं कहीं पे जीरो मिलेगा ही नहीं जब जीरो नहीं मिलेगा तो हमारा जो वैल्यू है वो हमारे आंसर में ऐड ही नहीं होगी तो अल्टीमेटली हमारे वहीं तक का ही सम आंसर में आएगा एंड दैट इज़ अर आंसर तो इट वॉज एक्चुअली आर रियली आई कैन से कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रॉब्लम एंड आई आई ऑल्सो डिटन आ ऑब्जर्वेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन सो इट्स मे बी कॉम्प्लेक्स टू अंडरस्टैंड बट इफ यू विल हैव अ ड्राइर एंड इफ यू विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट इट राइट तो गाइज दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम आई होप दैट यू हैव गॉट इट इफ यू स्टिल हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम ओके एंड यू कैन आस्क यू डाउट देयर और यू कैन ऑल्सो कमेंट डाउन योर डाउट ओके इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल चेक एंड आई विल रिस्पॉन्ड टू यू cool guys so thank you for watching this particular video if this is helpful for you please comment helpful and please subscribe the channel you can also follow me on linkedin and instagram and join telegram channel where i post regular job opportunities coding resources and other stuff related to technology thanks a lot thank you